Hello fellow Armaholic fans out there, my name's Para, and yes, this is another video for Arma 3, what else would it be? Well, since we've done a couple of Sandpack mods recently, including GSS Pure versus um, Dragonfire, I thought we'd have a look at some mods, and this one has been newly available, and I haven't seen anybody do a review of it, so I thought we would have a look. What we're actually looking at is the British Ridgeback PPV, and the Ridgeback is a British modification of an American-built 4x4. MRAP. It only comes with a desert camo variant and it's armed with a turret mounted HMG and a 1 FFV position. So let's get in, have a look at this and see what we think. The actual texturing of the vehicles is not bad, um, it's nothing to uh, write home about um, and as you'll see as we get further inside the vehicle it's, the textures are either missing or it's, it's, it's a work in progress but the actual vehicle works just fine. These actual cages that are around it are to dispel RPGs and send the impact outwards so it hits less of the vehicle but it also means that we can only enter the vehicle from the back which is true to life. So let's get inside and we'll have a look. So here we are in the driver's seat and as you can see the textures are really quite plain. This, this is no um, detriment to the actual uh, creator of this vehicle. Um, it just feels like a lot of the textures are missing, really thick chunky doors as you can see here for uh, stopping RPGs. Vehicle drives fine, it seems to be quite restricted on the steering though. I don't know whether that's part of this mod or whether it's actually part of the vehicle but that is as far as I can turn this vehicle. So it's actual turning circle is really quite slow as I'm going to show you in there. That's literally as far as we can steer left and right with this vehicle. Audio wise I'm running uh, SOS, I think it is on this one, or is it Dragonfire, it's one or the other. So uh, these are the sounds that come with it. Obviously depending on which sound pack you choose it's going to sound slightly different. It seems to be a little bit slow underpowered when it comes up to some of these hills. I would have thought this would have been able to go up here a little bit faster. I'm actually holding down the full speed button here as well. We actually do have a rear facing camera as well, so if you want to check your six or when you reverse parking, I'm thinking we're playing Euro Truck Simulator again, if you want to do your reverse parking you can do with the camera. And the simple way to get back to the actual driver's position is to press the map key twice and that will jump us straight back into the driver's position. And I'm just going to pick the top turret here. Here you can see I've actually come out of a hatch at the actual back of the vehicle. As you can see we can look around and we can actually fire from this position as well. And it's also available that you can close the hatch should you want to. I'm not sure what that clear thing is on the back. I'm sure somebody can tell me what that is. So you can actually have a gunner facing forward and back which is great. Especially if you're doing patrols. Uh, Takistan comes to mind. It would be fantastic this vehicle. Um, so now we're going to jump down into the commander's seat, nothing special, um, as you can see, really quite basic in here, but it is what it is, and uh, it's great to have it in the armour universe. You can also uh, fire from the position from the commander's seat as well. This is the gunner's seat, not a lot really to discuss about this, it's the usual one that comes on the jackals and the other vehicles on top, but it's fully, fully rotational does what it does, it smashes Taliban heads, so it's a fucking win over and out. The vehicle also comes with some sort of mine detection uh, facility. I couldn't actually get this to work, I wasn't, well I, sh I shouldn't say I shouldn't get it to work, I haven't actually tested it. There's some sort of radar warning system or anti-mine facility with this. Um, again, so if you're interested in this, more information about that will be in the readme file and um, the actual vehicle is available from Amaholic which is where I got this video from and this has just been a quick look at the British Ridgeback and I need to give a bit of a heads up to the creator of, the, of this vehicle heads up to a guy called Cleggy and this was put up in December as I said I've not seen anybody else review it so internally wise needs a little bit of work it may be a little bit buggy here and there but nothing that I've had any problems with I've actually really enjoyed using this vehicle and I think in the right scenario and the right game mode it would be a fantastic addition so big up Cleggy thanks for this and this has been my review uh, out of 10 I don't really want to give it an out of 10 because each person is going to get their own but I'd give this a, an 8 out of 10 in the position that it's in thanks for watching I've been Para doing this video for Armaholic. You'll find more Armour videos and guides on my channel. But in the meantime, thanks for watching and subscribe. Give us a look, 
I was going to say, I like your thumbs up then, but you can give us what you want if you like it. More coming soon from Yorkshire, lad. Para. See you on the battlefield. Bye-bye.